Prudential, who have just made a £25 million investment drinking beer at the back. They must be celebrating something. Mahesh Amiwa, Mabibina Mabwana, Mbari Zajoni, Gina Languni, Christian Turner, Mimini Balozi, Wingareza, and Karibu Niambana. Some of you have heard me say that twice today, so you know I've been practicing. Uh, it is a real, real pleasure for uh, myself and my wife Claire to welcome everyone here uh, this evening, uh, particularly uh, Cabinet Secretary uh, Kandier, East African Affairs, Commerce and Tourism, and of course uh, our distinguished guest from the UK, uh, the Lord Mayor, woman Fiona Wolfe, uh, and her delegation including uh, the Prime Minister's trade envoy, uh, Lord Hollick. Um, there's so much uh, we could say, but I want, uh, in the true uh, Kenyan way, to say that mine is brief. <laughs> <laughs> and all protocols are so. <laughs> um, I've also promised that there will be no politics this evening, um, and that the word referendum is banned <laughs> for both the sake uh, of uh, the visiting party and the host party. <laughs> so we weak in all sorts of ways. Um, uh, let me just say a few words about why I think uh, it is so significant, uh, the delegation, uh, Lord Mayor, that you have brought with you um, uh, this week. Uh, 20, uh, 25 companies, I think, here uh, for two days of talks uh, with the Kenyan government. Many of you have heard me say before that the modern day relationship between the United Kingdom and Kenya is not only deep, it is thriving. Britain remains the largest cumulative investor and contributor to Kenyan prosperity with an excess of 155 billion Kenyan shillings a year in trade. That's the largest partner outside East Africa. UK companies form the two largest private sector employers and make up five of the top 10 taxpayers. We send the largest number of visitors a year with a prime destination for further education, as I have found out this week with a lot of requests for visas. There are over 200,000 people of Kenyan origin living in the UK. I love the way we phrase this because we can't be too exact about exactly how many Kenyans, given those who may not be there entirely at Her Majesty's approval. So we say, I hope we're not live on this. Um, people of Kenyan origin living in the UK. My point is that when Kenyans want to travel or study abroad, their first choice is Britain. We could talk about aid investment. I can see Lisa Phillips, head of uh, DFID, who is here. Uh, Kenya has increased uh, sorry, UK aid has increased their investment in Kenya by 50% in recent years and we invest over £110 million a year to help the poorest Kenyans to improve health and education, to tackle conflict and create inclusive growth and jobs. And on defence and security issues, the UK is Kenya's longest and most steadfast ally. Just yesterday, I was with Cabinet Secretary uh, Kamau at JKIA handing over some uh, bomb detection equipment. Our military cooperation with Kenya is worth uh, 8.6 billion Kenyan shillings a year, the lion's share of that going direct into the Kenyan economy. I could go on, and many of you have heard many of these statistics before. Ladies and gentlemen, in all of these areas, we want the same thing, a more prosperous and a more secure Kenya. We want to see inclusive growth and more investment to deliver more jobs. UK firms have a long history of success in the traditional Kenyan sectors of agriculture, food, uh, drink, and more recently, telecoms. But as you will hear this evening, and as we will see in the coming 24 hours, UK firms are now leading a new wave of investment in Kenya across key enabling sectors such as financial services, energy, education, and aviation, which will drive the whole Kenyan economy towards uh, double-digit growth and the delivery of Vision 2030. Lord Mayor, I am absolutely delighted to welcome you here to spearhead this new wave of investment. As I said, you are accompanied by a delegation of around 25 leading UK businesses, all seeking to do new business in Kenya. And we think that this visit will amount to an initial phase of deals worth over 100 million pounds. That's 15 billion Kenyan shillings. And I think that deserves a round of applause. That will cover financial services, with the UK helping Kenya insure against risk and raise the funds for big infrastructure projects. And as I mentioned, uh, colleagues from Prudential announced this morning uh, an investment uh, of 25 million pounds, which will lead to 4,000 jobs uh, in, uh, in Kenya. The energy sector is well represented as well, powering Kenyan economic industry and growth, which will see an additional 7.3 billion investment, Kenyan shillings, uh, by UK companies in geothermal, solar, biogas, and wind. We also will be agreeing significant new announcements in the sectors of education, skills, and training, helping to deliver the workforce that will propel Kenya to middle income status. Also, healthcare and aviation connecting Kenya with the world. What is crucial in all of this conversation is that the investment is adding value in Kenya. 
It is bringing jobs and it is helping to bring Kenyan expertise, to build Kenyan expertise. And one thing that should be obvious from all of this is that the UK supports and welcomes uh, that investment. Those who talk, and some of you heard it talk before, of competition between East and West in Kenya are missing the point. This is a multipolar world where all countries benefit from the rise in foreign investment. I will not hear talk of pandas, buffaloes, or lions. We are all working together to see the investment that we want to happen. Kenya is in the middle of a period of huge growth, and the UK is in a prime position to support this. So in conclusion, I hope that this visit and the new wave of investment by UK companies it will bring will serve to underpin the modern, vibrant relationship which our two countries enjoy, and in doing so, take us forward towards our shared goal of a more prosperous and secure Kenya. Asante Niasana. Now, before I invite uh, the Lord Mayor uh, to say a few words and then pass over uh, on behalf of the government uh, to CS Candia, can I just say a few, th a few thank yous? Uh, we've had wonderful assistance with this program. Uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank uh, Barclays, uh, Jeremy Worry, uh, if you could wave your hand here. Uh, Jeremy and the team have done a great job of partnering with us. Uh, a superb event for those who were there this afternoon about uh, women in business. Um, really, really vibrant discussion, and as a man in a suit, it did me no end of good to sit quietly uh, and listen for several hours to such a vibrant and strong discussion. Uh, Jeremy, your leadership and that of your team on this issue deserves real uh, commendation. We'll do a further event tomorrow with the Capital Markets Authority. Paul Mathara is somewhere here. Uh, great, uh, great stuff to look forward to tomorrow. So thank you to Barclays. Can I also thank Prudential, already mentioned, the Africa Legal Network, and Hamilton, Harrison, and Matthews for all their partnership and support uh, for the Lord Mayor's visit. We have a round of applause for all of them, please.